Hey everybody, I have an awesome recipe for you today. It's a dessert that is super yummy and easy to make. It is vegan cannoli. Yes, you heard right, vegan cannoli. It is so hard to find and that's what drove me to make it on my own. So excited, so I'm so excited to share this with you guys today. Um, so I will go through it step by step. Um, one of the things you'll need is these um, cannoli um, tubes, and they're actually just uh, metal tubes you can find online or at um, some specialty cookware stores. And I have a bunch of them at this point, um, but they're, they're really a necessity for this recipe. And because what you're gonna do is wrap the shell around it and bake it. Um, even if you were frying it, this is still what's used for that. Um, and the other thing, I use is this, just this circular shape. You could use a larger biscuit cutter. Um, you could also use a, a large mouth jar to, um, you know, to do this. You don't necessarily need this piece, but this has been really helpful as well. Um, the other thing I'm gonna do too, which is really special, I usually use orange zest in this recipe, um, but this time I am using these really delicious, um, uh, from this Italian company uh, in Sicily, these orange slices and syrup. I've used them in a bunch of recipes. They are so delicious. Um, they're not too tart there. They are soaked in brandy. It's, it's, it's sweet, but not too sweet and has just the right amount of tart in it. And it's just so, so good. Um, if you can't find these, you know, go ahead and use the, the uh, orange zest, but um, that's what's in the original recipe that I will have in the description below. But these are really, this is gonna be really delicious. I've actually not used these um, before, but in, the, in this recipe, but I thought it would be super good um, in cannoli. So I'm really excited to try that. Okay, almond flour. And again, this, uh, I was saying before, it could be gluten-free. Almond flour is gluten-free. Um, the other flour I'm gonna use for dusting is not, uh, but you can certainly sub out a gluten-free flour for that. Okay, so we're gonna do about three quarters of a cup. I'm only making a few today, so I'm gonna do a little bit less than my uh, recipe uh, mentions online, but. We're just gonna do a few, because I actually only have a few of the flour tortillas on hand, and I thought, well, it'll still be fun to make. And you might not wanna make a big batch anyway. It is, it's a little effort, but it's so worth it. It's really delicious, and the presentation is super. Okay, so then we're also gonna add a little bit of powdered sugar. It's uh, organic powdered sugar. Do about a third of a cup. And as we're going along, if we need to adjust any of the, um, for any of the ingredients for the consistency, you can always do that too, so. Okay, and then I have um, vegan cream cheese. Miyoko's is my favorite. And we're gonna do half of a tub. Normally the full recipe is a, a full tub of like an eight ounce package of this uh, cream cheese, but I, I'm just gonna use about half because I'm just doing about half the recipe. And if you do have leftover um, of the filling, that's not going to waste. You can use it for another dessert. It is so, so good. Um, really creamy and I mean, just like the regular cannoli filling, but it's the traditional, I should say. Um, but it's just a lot, um, really a lot uh, healthier for you than the traditional. And we're gonna do our plant milk. I use Oatly, that is my go-to. I love Oatly, it's nice and creamy. And some maple syrup. Okay, a little sweetness there, the maple syrup. Dash of cinnamon. A little vanilla. Dash of vanilla. Okay, and then before we finish with that, I'm going to process in a mini food uh, processor the couple of, uh, just a couple of orange slices instead of the orange zest. 
So I'm just going to have that ready to go when I need to add that. And these are so pretty. I mean, I only have a few left in this jar, but look at how beautiful they are. They've just been, they're organic and they've just been soaking in this delicious liquid. It's so good. Oops. Okay, so one, two. I'm gonna do a little extra. I'm gonna do three. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna process these and set them aside. And that's going to take the place of the orange zest. And boy, does that smell so refreshing and delicious. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's a really good product. I absolutely love this brand. Okay. I mean, the traditional, um, they, it, well, I think the traditional cannolis do have the lemon zest, but a lot of times they use that citron, which I don't really like. Um, I just never really liked that. It just tastes kind of, I don't know, artificial. Um, but this is super, I, I mean, you can smell the aroma of the orange. It's so bright and just adds a nice balance to that sweetness. So you can see, see, it's kind of a thicker consistency. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator while I get the rest of the things. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to put that in the fridge in a little bit. And then the next step is to slice our little, make the little cutouts of these flour tortillas. So see, just a regular flour tortilla. And see, like that. These are mini. They're going to be small, depending on how big your cutter is. But I found that this size is actually a really nice little cute size. So I'm probably just gonna get two out of these because they're not, the tortillas are not that big. And just kind of turn it to get your tortilla shape. And you can save these, honestly, you could just make um, tortillas uh, in the oven with these uh, extra pieces here. I've done that before. Just kind of toast them up and put them in guacamole or something. It's really good. All right, so then got one more. Just put that aside. I could use that up for later. I'll just get two more out of these. be perfect but okay yeah it's just a little this little round shape is what you're looking for and as with the traditional you don't want to uh, fill the cannoli when until you're ready to serve them so keep the uh, the filling in the refrigerator until you're ready to serve these can be um, the shells can be stored in an airtight container for really even a, a day or two. Um, I would do it the day of if you can and um, just have that, uh, you know, have everything ready to go when you're making it, but keep the filling in the refrigerator until you're ready to serve it. And um, it can be, you know, a little cool room temperature, but not to fill because then it will make the shell soggy, not crispy. And what's great about this, it's baked not fried and it's still crispy. The shell, it's so good. Okay, so got that out of our way. And then what we're gonna do, I've got more of the Oatly here and I'm gonna add again a little maple syrup to sweeten that up. Just a little bit in there. And a little vanilla. Okay. And then 
we're going to dip these. I'm going to let that one sit. I'm going to get this stuff ready in the meantime, which will be greasing the cannoli tubes. Okay, so after this, you want to dust it in the flour and butter it. Grab a little piece of parchment paper. And here's what I usually do. So I take the tube, I grease it with the butter. And then it's a little bit messy, but then I dust it. I could either do that or I could probably just do it this way. Just put a little flour over the tube. Give it a shake to get that all on there. This is going to prevent the, uh, the, the uh, flour tortillas from sticking. I'm making a mess here. That's okay. All right. Then I'm going to take my tortilla that's been in the plant milk and I'm just going to wrap it like a little burrito. Wrap it on the tube like that and just press it to seal it. And then I'm going to put it seam side down on my sill pad. Um, you can use parchment paper as well, but I happen to have the um, sill pad that I really like. That's also helpful when you're baking. Okay. So again, let one of them kind of sit in there for a minute and grease the tube. flour. Just kind of dust that a little bit. Give it a little shake for the excess. Okay. Then put that tortilla right over. that over. And you just want to give them some space on your baking sheet. They're not going to really expand or anything, but you want to give them enough space on there so that they're not touching each other. repeat with the last two. Okay, I'm back and ready to fill my cannoli. Here they are nice and they're cooled and uh, nice and golden brown. All right, and I took my, um, my filling out of the refrigerator and what I'm gonna do is fill a pastry bag. Now you can also use a plastic bag, uh, like a Ziploc bag, and just uh, cut the, the tip off of it. But I have a, um, a large um, pastry tip that I'm going to put in here. And this one, I've had this for a really long time and you can wash it, so I just keep reusing it. But again, plastic bag works great. And I'm just going to, let me get the chocolate out of the way. I'm just going to fill it. And we have that. I'm just going to shake it to get to the bottom. Okay, get that ready. I'm just going to put that aside. Okay, so now taking these off, so you can see they're um, still stuck on here. Those might have to cool a little bit more. Okay, so there. Look how cute that is. Little cannoli shell that is baked and not fried. And actually, before I fill that, what I want to do is I have my chocolate that I'm going to dip them in. I'm going to shave just a little bit of chocolate, dark chocolate. I could have done this ahead of time, but I thought it'd be good just to show you. Okay, I'm just going to put that aside for now. 
Okay, so you're gonna take the pastry bag, twist it up, oops, already losing some, and put the filling in one side, and then turn it around and put the filling in the other side. And we're going to top it, dust it with a little bit more of the powdered sugar. It makes a really great presentation. I love how this looks on my um, website. You can see I have a, a plate of them and it just looks really pretty. So holy cannoli, it looks good. All right, time for a bite. Mmm. These are so good, guys. They're really creamy. Can taste a little bit of the zest. Crunchy. I'll leave the description in the comment in the detail section. I really hope you guys can try this recipe. Great for the holidays, great for just a treat. Bring it to a friend's house. That'll be a really nice treat for them and enjoy this delicious vegan treat, this Italian specialty that I hope you guys love.